So she said, thanks to the support and encouragement of the Front Row VIP community, I am committed to putting out my first digital offer, the Ultimate Dating Tracker. Those of you who were on our last strategy call got a peek at this thing. This is no joke. This is for real. Like, I'm so excited about this. I wish I, wish I had the time uh, and that you did too, to just work exclusively on this, this thing with you, because that's how awesome I think that it is. Anyway, uh, she wants to have that, put it out there by the end of the month, just ahead of Valentine's Day. I have several parts ready-ish. The product is 90% ready. We have our sales copy, a script for a welcome video, et cetera, but I know there's probably a lot that I'm missing. On our last Front Row VIP call, I believe Jen mentioned a launch checklist. Here, here's my question. In addition to pointing me in the right direction of your launch checklist, which I would love, what advice and direction would you give someone like me who has who is about to launch their first digital product? I know it may take some time to get some traction for sales, but I'm more concerned. But I'm more concerned with us putting out this project in a well educated, uh, well executed, strategic manner. Okay, well, I have good news for you. This thing is a masterpiece, if I do say so myself. Um, so you all can have access to this and you uh, please make a copy of it. Don't edit on it directly. And um, this is in VIP and there's a video that goes with it. Nika will put that video in the chat, but you want to go to the, the tab that says course launch checklist. What is it? What is about that yellow? What I, this is for those of you who are on that, it was a, a workshop that we did and it was something, I don't remember the title. It was like simple launching, right? It doesn't look, simple at all when you look at this, but um, I highlighted in yellow sort of the bare minimum that you needed to do to launch. And then everything else is sort of like ideal. Um, and then additionally, there's a column here for your tasks. And then there's a column on the right for your VA's tasks. Okay. The things they need to do. So to be honest with you, I, I can't really add to this, Natalia. I mean, I think that you should go through it and it's all there for you step by step. There's even little check boxes that you could check box, check off over here on the left. Things I would remind you about are your connections in, in the TV world and in the media that you've done so well with. Uh, I think this is just the sort of thing they want to talk about before Valentine's Day. I also want to think about how we can, you know, you had talked about making it an app. And I saw something at Traffic and Conversion that literally with like three prompts can turn what you have created in that spreadsheet into an app. Like when I say an app, like it would be a tool with some code, some simple like CSS code or Java code or something where it could like sit on a website and look really pretty. It wouldn't take much at all to, to do that, but it's just the kind of cool thing that people want to talk about. So you know, and probably, what was the platform mentioned? Uh, I don't know. Oh, just what platform did you say with with a bit of code? You mentioned. Oh, I was saying like CSS code or or Java code. I don't know what I'm talking about, really. I just it was in AI. It was like they did it in Chat GPT, and they literally had like a little conversation. And I probably have the video. I know I'll. They're sending the videos in four weeks, but I made a ton of notes. I haven't even had a chance to revisit it, but it was literally just, I'm going to play around with it. Just send me the spreadsheet. If you, if you don't mind, I promise I'll keep it confidential. I want to play around with it. But even if you didn't do that, as it is, as long as you put some pretty packaging around it, you know, your logo or whatever, um, nobody has to see the spreadsheet on TV necessarily, but I, I wouldn't forget about the like old fashioned press releases, right? Like they tend to take kindly to you, right? Like you've got a face for TV, let's all be honest. And, 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 and you have the brand that, and you already have the, you already have the, um, all the other credentials from being on all these morning shows and all of that. So I just would say that's not the first most important thing. Jen, Jen I appreciate that. Like, I actually, I just knew you'd mentioned this list, but I hadn't had time to go looking for it. So thank you. I mean, just seeing it laid out and looking forward to going through this, but just seeing all of these steps is exactly why I felt like that this feels incomplete. This is more than just a sales page and a product. Like there's a lot of, um, yeah, connected parts. And I don't know if this will be helpful for anyone, 
But Jim, what would you say? I mean, for me or anyone who is, so I'm getting married in a month. <laughs> I mean, it's right around Valentine's Day. It's exciting, but I just feel like, I mean, I could get it out. But do you think that strategically, there's always a good time to date. I can just work it into like spring dating, you know, people looking for that refresh. So um, I suppose to make my, my question more um, helpful for everyone, it would be like, what would you say in terms of like timing? Like, because I'm sure we all often have things. Listen, that are coming up. what do you think I'm going to say? I'm really Just curious mm -hmm. because he, here's the thing. Yes. Like there is that whole checklist, right? Like that's, that's the whole checklist there. And we could probably add a hundred more things to that checklist, but what do you really need to launch this? You already listed that you had it. You have your sales copy, you have your emails, you have your thing. And you don't have a giant email list. So what I love is that you can send this out, which is going to be so helpful to your people. And you have been looking for a way back in um, with your emails, right? So this is that perfect entry for you, to, since you haven't communicated with your email list, to go in and um, and gift them with it. We're not, no, we're not going to give it as a gift, are we? Are we giving it as a gift to begin with? Or we're not going to sell it? But maybe a yeah, I'll be selling it. Okay. We literally sell $97 last week. Right. Last okay. week. So you're going to send it out and you're so excited about it. I would talk about your upcoming wedding. Like people want to know and they're, they just want to know. Okay. So you could, so I would send it out to them. You don't have a huge email list because here's why, like they're going to try it out and give you feedback. And then that, and then now you can really launch it, right? Like this is just going to be, and that's why maybe even you do make it like super dirt cheap and then let them know it will never be this price again. Um, but this is like, I'm introducing it to you guys first and I'm so excited and, you know, my wedding's coming up and I don't know what you say about that, but like, it'd be easy to weave it in. And, um, and that's what I think. I think you could keep putting this off forever until you think everything is perfect. And it just doesn't need to be perfect. Your website looks great. Your, you know, you, your branding is on point. This thing, this tool itself is really incredible and people are going to love it. Okay. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you for that. I'm going to go through the checklist and I'll just go back and catch the replay to see what, to really catch what you said around like AI and potentially turning this, evolving this into something. Yeah. We'll call it a widget, not an app. At this point, like, I think that's more, more what it would be, but it would just sort of be, um, it would be attractive and it would be like something you could embed somewhere. So we'll, we'll put that on the back burner, but I, I, I there's potential there. Thank you. Um, and then of course you guys feel free to chime in there in the chat, um, with anything else you want to share, if you have any other tips and, uh, and yeah, and thanks for your great question. I, I'm really excited for you on all fronts. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.